It is time now for a look at our Sunrise Smart Start. Tiernan Street is now open after an investigation that lasted throughout the night. Police have not provided many details here, but over a dozen officers were on scene. We will follow this story as it develops and give you more details as we learn more. Rochester Police also responding to Hollenbeck Street near Treneman Street early this morning for a crash there involving injuries. Police say a 32-year-old city resident was robbed. His vehicle was then shot, which led to the victim crashing into a utility pole. Police were called there around 1.30 this morning. The victim treated for non-life-threatening injuries. The vehicle involved in that crash suffered pretty significant damage. The investigation into what happened is ongoing. An apartment is destroyed after a fire on J Street this morning. Crews responding to the scene around 3.30 in the morning were told all residents were able to get out of that home safely. One firefighter suffered burns to his hand, according to officials. We will also continue to follow this story as it develops. Well, elsewhere, the Rochester Police Accountability Board says it wants more guidance when it comes to the police chief's new plan for policing protests and mass gatherings. At an oversight hearing last night, the PAB questioning RPD Chief Cynthia Harriet Sullivan about topics ranging from defining a violent protest to the use of chemical weapons. Chief Harriet Sullivan said officers only resort to extreme measures when they feel their lives are in danger. An investigation continues this morning after a bank robbery that happened in Rochester. Officers responding to the ESL Federal Credit Union on Chestnut Street around 1 p.m. Thursday for the report of a bank robbery there. Police say a male suspect entered the bank and left with an undisclosed amount of cash. If you have any information about this, you're asked to please call police uh, and call 911. Well, beginning today, pharmacies like CBS and Walgreens will offer in-store COVID-19 vaccines. Well, according to officials, the vaccine doses will only be available at locations which have received supplies from the federal government. A limited amount of locally owned pharmacies will be allocated vaccine doses, we're told, as well. All right, the good news this morning, it's Friday. Yes. 10 All degrees day. out there, though. <laughs> Very cold. You're going to want to bundle up if you're heading out the door. Indeed. Bundle up uh, all the layers here on this uh, frigid Friday morning. It is indeed a uh, day that uh, will have you shivering. I don't think you'll be doing too much in the way of shoveling, though. Yesterday, officially in Rochester, uh, just a little bit less than two inches of snow. Four times that, though, in places like Webster and out towards uh, Penfield, where some uh, serious lake effect snow got its act together midday and into the early afternoon. This is a map that projects lake effect snow for the day today and into tonight. That famed Route 104 corridor that extends closer to the uh, Lake Ontario shoreline north of Rochester uh, might pick up one to three inches of fresh homegrown lake fluff off of Lake Ontario. That would be later tonight in particular and into the wee hours of Saturday morning. Outside of that, it's just a few uh, flurries and maybe a coating to an inch of snow as uh, we start to see a little bit of that uh, lake flakiness uh, drifting uh, south in some cases. As far as temperatures are concerned here for the day today, again, the normal high is right around freezing. We are still in the midst of some true, unadulterated, Arctic air that is going nowhere fast for the time being. Temperatures into the teens from hilltop to lakeshore. We make it up to 18, I think, officially in Rochester, maybe closer to 20 by the water's edge of Lake Ontario. A lot of the clouds that you see out there right now, courtesy of Lake Ontario. It's a low overcast that hangs over Rochester. Not going to see too much in the way of the sun here, I think, throughout the day today. Maybe a break or two in the overcast as we work our way into later this afternoon. There's radar and satellite, and you can see that we do have some light snow that is back to the west. I do think that the snow later tonight will be the lake effect variety. Some of that uh, snow that you see back to the west should be here uh, as we head into later tomorrow. Uh, and then some of the snow that is immediately to our west will just amount to a few flurries here for the bulk of the day today. And as we go in for a closer look, you can see there also are some flurries flying in the Finger Lakes this morning. There's your planner here for the day today. Again, the bottom line, it's frigid, not too flaky, lots of shivering highs in the upper teens. All right. Yeah, another cold one. Thank you so much. Hey, don't forget Valentine's Day. That's right. Coming up on Sunday. Yes. Hug your honey. Thanks for watching News 8 at Sunrise. Uh, CBS This Morning is coming up next. Our next update in 25 minutes. Be safe and have a great day.